Welcome to Murat's Kitchen. Today we're making the most delicious beef stew. Start by quartering your white bitten mushrooms. You can use crimini mushrooms also. Then we're going to chop up our garlic. You can pre-do a lot of this work ahead of time and you can finish up the beef stew at a later time if that's more convenient for you. Now we're going to dice our onions. You can see the technique that I'm using where first I cut two slices into the onions. This way it helps me create a small dice quite a bit quicker. Okay, after you pre-warmed your pot on medium high heat, add your pearl onions, saute them until they start turning a little bit of color, add a little bit of olive oil of course, Continue over medium high heat to saute them until they get a little bit of color as you can see. Now add your yellow onions, add your mushrooms to the, to the pot and stir until it starts to cook down a little bit. Now I'm going to add the garlic. Garlic always adds a nice pungent and fragrancy to, to the dish. Okay, we're going to remove all the vegetables into a separate bowl. We're going to add a little bit more olive oil, wait till that's heated, and now we're going to add our stewing beef and continue to cook until you get a nice caramelization on the beef. Don't overcrowd the beef into the pot, otherwise a lot of liquid is going to start to seep out and you'll be stewing it instead of searing it and getting that beautiful caramelization which is going to add so much flavor to our final stew. Look at all that delicious flavor in there from all our vegetables and for our caramelization of the beef. Now we removed the beef and we've added our vegetables back. We're adding tomato paste. And you want to make sure that you stir that really well and cook that really well until you have almost nice rustic color. Every step and every technique adds a layer of flavor. Now we're adding tomato sauce. You can use your favorite store-bought tomato sauce and everything has to be stirred well and incorporated well and cooked for a few minutes together to let all the flavors, flavors meld together. Now we're adding some good quality red wine. You can use your favorite. Stir that together and bring it to a simmer. You can see that velvety look already from the tomato paste that's helping to thick our stew and add so much flavor to it. Add your beef back into the pot and again incorporate all those flavors together mix it in really well. Use a good quality beef soup base which I have here and mix that with about three cups of water. Now we're going to add that to our beef stew that's going to act as the majority of our liquid and uh, is going to help add so much more flavor. Now I'm using this really great technique. Use a fine mesh colander and put that into the, the liquid of your pot and add about half a cup but about a quarter cup at a time of flour and stir vigorously. Really don't let up on this, on this technique on this step because you really have to mix it in really really well to help to um, eliminate the little flower uh, little flower balls that can that can happen as you're mixing it and what you want to create is a nice uh, unified uh, sauce thick sauce now that's seeping through the fine mesh at the bottom and that's thickening your sauce you want to do that at the beginning of your of your stew so that can cook together slowly over two hours help to cook out the cook the flour taste and also help to thicken your sauce over a slow simmer mix everything really well in the meantime after you've turned the heat down on the on low you're now going to add the potatoes. You want to add the potatoes after the stew simmered for about an hour because you want the potatoes to retain their 
their shape and they're what we call a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a bite so they're not like mashed potatoes so after about an hour of simmering the stew you want to add the potatoes for the final hour and a half I incorporate that really well uncovered you're going to continue to simmer the stew for another hour and a half for a total of two and a half hours of simmering on low add a sprinkle of rosemary isn't that beautiful again the velvety texture of the stew that's what you're looking for and then you'll finally finish it off with a little bit of parsley I really hope you try this recipe at home see the full recipe below and leave a comment let me know what you think of it enjoy and bon appetit hope to see you every Sunday at Murat's kitchen